get back on with this uh, P51 by Tamiya. Let's get on with priming. We're going to use this uh, Tamiya spray can uh, because I want a nice glossy surface because I'm going to be using these Vallejo metal colours on her. So to start with, make sure they mix really, really well. With these paints, we want to go with a nice light coat. Uh, just a mist coat to start with, just getting it all laid down uh, until we uh, start building up the coverage. Hopefully you can see how it's building up quite nice. We're getting a nice shiny finish. And there she is, all with the first base coat on. Time to add some different tones now. Uh, first off, I masked off some panels, the tail there, and I'm just gonna quickly go over everywhere just to give that a different shade. And again, another different shade, this time just round the exhaust. Uh, this didn't really work as well as I wanted. So uh, if I do this again, I'll have to think of something else to do. Next up is the invasion stripes. As you can see, I've got the main parts uh, masked off. Uh, on the wings there, it's going to be starting off with the, the white uh, and then when I get to it, I'll be doing the uh, olive drab on the anti-glare panel. As you just watched me paint the, the white of the invading stripes, I must apologize. The footage of me masking up and painting the, the black uh, part of the invading stripe was lost. Uh, hopefully, later on in the year, I'll be doing another bird with invading stripes so we can see it then. Uh, so now we're moving on to the decals. Uh, these super scale decals are absolutely fantastic. Uh, they just slide straight off uh, really really well uh, please bear in mind that I have put a gloss coat on on the aircraft to help bed these uh, decals in Bye. 
Like I said, they bedded down really, really well. Uh, and they went on with no dramas at all. So I'm not going to show you all that. Next after that was a, another gloss coat, coat. And then it was on to the webbing. Starting off with just a, a pin wash or a sludge wash, whatever you want to call it. Just using uh, an old, one of my older MIG uh, uh, washers. Just a dark wash for now. Because uh, I want, to, want the, uh, all the rivets and what have you and the panel lines to really stand out. Once it's been left for about 20 minutes to half an hour, we can wipe off all the excess. Now, because I put a gloss coat on, this will wipe off really, really easily. Uh, as you can see, just with a cotton board, or in a bit you'll see me get a, uh, a kitchen towel and just, you know, wipe it off, getting rid of all the excess. And it's time to weather up the fuel tank. So again, all I'm doing is just uh, using some uh, pin wash uh, by MIG, uh, dotting it on, letting it dry a bit, then just dabbing it with a piece of sponge just to blend it in to make it look a little bit dirty, a little bit acky. Uh, and then I'm just using some MIG ammo fuels and stains. This is a fuel one. Uh, I don't use this that often there because I'm not too I'm not too overly keen on it but I thought it'd be ideal for this so just dobbing it on and then just letting it sit and, and dry. Next on to one of my favourite parts of weathering using some watercolour pencils. Now with these watercolours you can have use them like I am there, dry, okay. Or then we get a wet brush and we just streak it back to, to give the uh, the impression of airflow over whatever you're doing it on. So that's the fuel tank. Uh, same on the, the other one, just some blacks and browns and you know, just make it look grimy and, and horrible. And then later on, we'll do the same on the actual airframe as well. Next up is adding some of the exhaust notes. Now this is still fairly new to me. 
Uh, I've not been doing it that uh, that much I used to be able to do with uh, chalk pastels, but I've started doing it with an airbrush. So uh, I'm just laying down a really, really thin uh, layer of gray, uh, and then I'll come back on top of that with a really thin layer of uh, black or something like that. Once that was done, a matte coat was added, then it was time to add some mud splashes, just with some Citadel uh, earth shades, like uh, it's like a, a glaze or a wash, and then just with some chalk uh, wash, which you can see just there. And again, just flicking it on there with uh, a brush, just to add random bits of, you know, mud splatter or whatever, then just with a clean brush, just dabbing it up and removing some if need be uh, and what have you. Next up it was on to some pigments. So just some MIG pigments again, some dark mode and all that sort of stuff uh, with a, a crappy brush just laying it on and then getting rid of it with a cotton board or a finger like you see me doing there. Just to add a little bit of uh, realism and, uh, and what have you to the, the undercarriage and undercarriage doors and the wheels and all that sort of stuff. Now, like I said, you can use a, a, a cotton swab or, a, uh, or your finger. Uh, you can also use your finger to add a little bit of shine with the greases off your hands to the, to the wheels to make them look more like a uh, rubber. Uh, adding a little bit to the, uh, the under the wing also, because that's where the uh, the mud splatter or whatever would splat will would uh, end up affecting the the aircraft, uh, and then we're on to the the finished uh, the finished model. Because after that, it was just putting it all together. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, build, uh, and I'll be on with my next one very shortly. Okay, fellas. Bye for now.